Welcome to the Science of Space channel. Today, we are going to talk about why some planets has rings but others don't. Can a terrestrial planet like Earth have rings? What is the criteria of having rings and much more? So, can a terrestrial planet like the Earth have a set of rings just like Saturn? You might be surprised to learn that, yes, terrestrial planets can have rings like Saturn. As you probably know, most objects in the solar system are held together by their own gravity. And every object is a satellite to some more massive object. The force between two objects depends on the distance between the two objects. And when the distance between the two objects is much larger than the size of the objects, then the force that acts on the lighter body or satellite by the heavier body is approximately constant across the entire satellite. However, if a satellite orbits too closely to the heavier object, then the force is much stronger on one side of the satellite than the other. If these forces are very large, they can literally rip the satellite apart into thousands of pieces which rearrange themselves to form a ring around the heavier object. And now you might be thinking that, how close is too close? It depends on the size of the heavier body and the density of both the bodies, but it is normally around twice the radius of the heavier body which is called the Roche limit. If a moon were to orbit inside of this range, it would break up and form rings, regardless of the type of the planet. This leads us to the second question, that is, in our solar system, why inner planets don't have any set of rings? Now let's talk about the Earth first, as the answer will apply to all other inner planets of our solar system. Since the Earth is way smaller than Saturn, the region around Earth where an object can fall in to break up into rings is much smaller than the region for Saturn. Now, you might be thinking that there is more to the story here. After all, the Earth was hit by a meteorite 65 million years ago that killed the dinosaurs. That didn't break up into rings. Also, there are one of the comet shoemaker Levy 9 smashing into Jupiter in 1994, which also doesn't form rings. Actually, there are two factors at play here. First, for a planet to induce a breakup, the satellite must be held together by its own gravity. That is the case for celestial objects large enough to become roughly spherical, but not for small comets and meteorites. If an object is not spherical, then this is an indication that, due to its very small size, it is held together by its own chemical bonds, which are stronger than the gravitational force. Secondly, if an object does break up, that doesn't mean the object will necessarily form rings around a planet. When the object breaks up, the net momentum of the object will be unchanged. If the object was orbiting extremely quickly during its breakup with respect to the planet, then most of the pieces have enough energy to overcome the planet's gravitational force and will escape into the solar system. Only when the pieces are moving at just the right velocity, then it will form rings around the planet, instead of crashing into the planet or escaping. All four gas planets in our solar system have rings, although Saturn's have the most spectacular one. It's unclear to the scientists why the rings are able to stay in a stable orbit without either escaping or crashing into the planet over such a long time scales. It is partially believed to be caused by shepherd moons, which lie in its orbit near the edges of the rings. These moons protect the ring material from leaving the system. The gravitational forces of these moons push the material into the ring when it tries to escape or accretes the material onto the moon itself. Extrasolar gas planets are likely to have some rings for the same reason that solar gas planets do. Their Roche limit is pretty far away from the surface giving a large region for satellite to fall into and break up, forming the rings. Now, if you want to stay updated about the space, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. So, that's all for this video. And thanks for watching. See you next time.